All right, my laddies, how are you now? It's Captain Buckaroo, and I'm back for another part of the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sorry for my slow uploads. Uh, it's been a, I know it's been a little while since I uploaded, but I'm still currently at sea, and I hope to rectify that situation very soon. Anyway, where were we? Oh yes, ready to get going. Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. Lounge car. Okay. <clears throat> now is a good time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know I know exactly why you you've been locking these those doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I no reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey hey, what's going on? Hmm. I see you made it here, Tails. But I don't didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Buckaroo, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Buckaroo. I will just quickly turn off my phone, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, what's in the wardrobe? Buckaroo, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure thing, boss. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm basically cannon fodder then. Alright, watch a pro. Ack, heck, cough, cough, ack. All this dust. You opened the door too fast, it blew everywhere. Hack, hack. Okay. <clears throat> what did Amy find out? Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip. But all will be revealed in due time. I think I was shedding a big light on this whole case. Could you please tell us? No way. Journalist, reporter, Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Um, I'm surprised. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. We've been through this. I know. I know. Zippity dippity doo. I hear sharing is caring. <laughs> okay. No. Yep. Come on, hurry up. We've been through this. Okay. Never mind. Let's see, the band. Hey, it's a big chow band. Play us a ditty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they don't miss. <laughs> that sounded very, uh... Those chow understand music. <laughs> yeah, right. What the hell was that? Give us a jam. <laughs> that was spiritual. <laughs> I feel reawakened. Oh wow, that was fantastic. Oh, what's, what are you cleaning, buddy? There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey robotic arm, can you? <laughs> give me a high five. Doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Let's see, what's in the trash can? There's always something in the trash can. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Buckaroo, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you gonna get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Buckaroo? No? There's always something in the trash bin. There's always something. Come on, Trails. Come on. All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? 
<laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? God, no, it has to be a clue now. I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper is added to your inventory. Always something in the trash, man. Seems the printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic's singing the song. Huh? This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear. Clear. But I won't let it stop me. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Can we print something? How about Sonic rowing a boat? Hang on, I think I remember which buttons to press. It's really that complicated? Have you ever had a printer work when you wanted to? God no, who has ever had a printer work for them? Fair enough. <laughs> That's a great picture. And there, working like a charm. Here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll, uh, yeah, okay. What's out the window? Whoa, Tails, you have to check this out. These windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Oh, you really did. Let's see now. What's the key, sir? Hmm. A key ring. Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring is added to your inventory. Anything else there? No. Computer. They told us about this in my inventory. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Uh, anything else? None of this has been any clear to me of what interesting. Okay, let's just talk to Shadow for a second. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help you with. I ask you, ask that you leave me be. That stare, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here actually. Buckaroo, we certainly will not. Okay. Oh God, I always click, I always click the wrong thing, don't I? And then I end, okay, start interrogation. I don't think we have enough evidence yet. Okay. What about you? Can I interrogate you? Oh, a question from Ma? You know, the journalist can't be the murderer, remember? We've learned the train will confiscate any weapons brought on board. But you've had your hammer this whole time. That's a good point. Simple. The birthday girl gets what the birthday girl wants. And I don't go anywhere without my hammer. A birthday law. We should have known. Everyone knows the birthday rules. Makes sense to me. Now, no more questions. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. I'll be ready. Okay. What other... Ooh, we can't move on. Okay. I guess you are. Oof. Better get back to the investigation. I really don't have an idea what I'm meant to do now. Uh, um, what's that here? Chow band. Okay. Hey, it's a big chow band. I play a daddy. <laughs> Fantastic. Always, always amazing. Amazing stuff. Okay. Anything in. Oh, what's this? Hmm. Tails, do you see this? A pull string? Buckaroo. What? It's gotta activate something. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. Oh. 
This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh. Quiet. Quick. Sorry, quick. Back through the passage before they spot us. Okay. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage is added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Okay. Bring it on. <coughs> <clears throat> Shadow, we have some questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train, and... And I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Oh, so you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. Well, my source came back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went, and went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. It's a logic sound though. Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I was actually thinking the exact same thing. I think Buckaroo and I can explain the car change, however. Buckaroo, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Uh, this one? This one? Okay, just get my thoughts in order. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh no, this is not good. I should be doing way better. Oh my god, no. That's not bad. Damn it! I mean, that's not good. Okay. I'll do it this time. Oh no! Oh my god! Even worse! Okay. Round three. Oh my god, no! No. No. Oh my god. I am terrible at this. Oh no. Oh my god. Sorry guys. Oh my god. I missed like four rings. I'm already lost. Oh no. Okay, I got all the rings now. Can I beat it this time? Yes, I can. Nice. Sorry about that, guys. Da ting Buckaroo and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted, distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car? Excellent work, Buckaroo. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murders Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, 
locked the door to the conductor's car on the way out and dropped the body off at the dining car. Uh, are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any av evidence to back this up other than my hot scoop. <laughs> Seems Tail and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled to the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did SP and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around those two people. Buckaroo, do you have any guesses? Uh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because Espio was reading. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Espio reading the library checks out. That's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you mustn't know, I needed to give him a key. As if. Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps. Buckaroo and I can, fur Buckaroo and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do that? Buckaroo, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was given all keys away? Uh, the keys? That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in or oh, order. Okay, let's party with this. Shit. Oh my god, oh my god, I forgot to jump. Oh my god, I'm so terrible at this. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I didn't forget to jump that time. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, I think I beat it. Yeah, that was that was that wasn't too bad. Got it my second try. Or was that third? Second or third? One or the other. There's only one reason there's exactly two keys in that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? Well, well I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Buckaroo and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just them, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay, just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Buckaroo? Oh yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits. And he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow couldn't find us. Maybe, but Shadow knew Amy, you, and I started in the dining car. He could have given us keys if he wanted to. That's a compelling argument, so maybe Shadow wanted to keep us away. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Buckaroo. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow is trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow will never do that. It's my birthday. You know, it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? How dare you, Buckaroo? Show me evidence. Uh, <laughs> if Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough. Or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. It's a little piece of paper, I'm guessing. That I found in the trash, you guys. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep that just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows... What Shadow didn't want Amy to know. 
this little doodad here. That feels right. Phew. Just organize my thoughts. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, that sounds like... Oh no, I should have just jumped there. Well, I think I got it. Yeah, I did. First try, guys. I am awesome. Okay, you went rooting through the trash. Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a Barnes Ticket website. Tales don't... <gasps> oh, this is Hot Honey's website. No way. I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's a band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is Sai, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Hey, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gotten, I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car? Shadow was stationed in. Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured the things out so soon, but I see where he's headed. The printout of the Hot Honey's Band's ticket website exists because Shadow is buying tickets for Amy. Wait, what? Shadow? Is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow! I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder? Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. Uh, sorry. That's all a detective's job is, I suppose. Hmm. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift. Except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Only Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to buy actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture is so sweet, and after I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh, I don't know if... Too late. It's happening. Eee! I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert you do. Hmm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow is behind everything. My credibility as a journalist, reporter, down the drain. Amy, I'm curious, who is the big source of your big scoop? SBO, probably? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. Uh, but we need to investigate one last area. The conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more happy. More, we're more than happy to have you both. Buckaroo, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tales. We'll pin down Sonic's murder for good. Right on then, let's do it. Okay, 
ready to go to the yes let's get this show on the road it's never never the conductor car what's weird this is spelled a couple something there she really saw that my evidence before i continue in my short time working on this train i haven't visited the conductor car yet feels empty wait where's the conductor that's odd i haven't seen him throughout the train at all last we saw him was when he left the dining car something clearly happened here nothing we can't figure out come on time to investigate let's crack on okay did us fall over when the train sped up not sure wait what's it say on the mug a cup of joe in your hand white bear side paradise all right all right he, we get it he loves his wife okay what's the speakers a microphone we can talk to the whole train with this hmm should i say something <laughs> yeah let's go beat pocket why are you reaching for the mic <laughs> <laughs> oh wow wow impressive that is that is amazing just uh offering our guests some musical entertainment that was impressive poker <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Oh, you're welcome, Tails. No problem. Anytime. I'm a screwdriver. Okay, what about I say? If I can hear this, your armpits stink. Oh, you're reaching for the microphone? <laughs> My armpits certainly do not. They're clean. I am sure sure they are, Tails. We've just been silly. Perhaps not the audience for that sort of joke. Okay. What's the screwdriver? Was someone playing darts? Okay, it's a dart. That's not a throwing dart, that's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train? Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tills is right, the train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. Let's make note of this. Blow dart is added to your inventory. Let's check the trash, guys. You know, oh. Okay. Now I'm not sad. Oh, this ga this game blows. Oh man, I j I just wanted oh, the trash pike. What? Oh my god. I'll go out in a high note. No man, you should check the trash. It's obviously like the biggest clue of the game is obviously going to be in the trash. The last time, like, whoa, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagoni with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Let's see, what else? Is a TV screen. I've noticed these, these screens throughout... I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said happy birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring though. The high quality screens probably didn't go do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Lol. Okay. Let's check the broken arm. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. Yeah, but we didn't click on this thing. I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh no, just how to work the microwave. <laughs> I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Aw, oh, guys. Okay, let's talk to Shadow. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining cars? I figured he's had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Fa ha 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 ha. Okay. Well, you two. Think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? 
It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Buckery? Ready to solve this case? Uh, sure. My guess is either Espio or the conductor at this point, like. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. <clears throat> Everyone, wonderful to have you here, all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect with assistance from Buckaroo. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBO. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on a train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms, count me in. I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Ha, huh. yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah, Sonic's actually dead. What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? He he's not responding to us. Sonic, Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you to get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic? He really was hurt this whole time and did not I did nothing? I'm right in my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Buckaroo, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Um Uh Um Uh Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh. You. Okay. You were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of wits you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. Buckaroo, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? We discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Buckaroo and I can explain that too, Buckaroo. How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Uh, a ninja like him speed reads? Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages, 
and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talent bunch, bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once bed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm re right, and Espio quickly memorized a book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. Well, you didn't memorize a crazy book, right? Right? That's right. How would Espio have no even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Buckaroo and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does, Buckaroo. Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Uh, Shadow? Okay, maybe you could give me a hint. They told us we can see something later, and now's the time to take a look. Who told us that? Who here has evidence to prove Espio was new about the hidden passage? Um, <laughs> oh god, now I'm confused. Hey, me? Okay. Uh, they told us so we can see something later, and now's the time. Okay, I'm just gonna go... Tails! No. Tails! Maybe you can give me a hint. I'm literally going through the process of elimination here. I will go Vector. That was okay. I will go Knuckles. Okay, so we've only got two left here. Either Blaze or her. Okay, so I guess it's Blaze. Blaze it is. Rouge, sorry. We need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. This right here is a blueprint Blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Buckaroo, do you have an answer for them? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Espio found them before Rouge did. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Uh, the library car. I was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still big, but Buckaroo and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espo caused Sonic, but Buckaroo and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Uh, the dart. Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus. You're close, Buckaroo. What should Sonic do? Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. This is... Oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god! I missed all them ring boxes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I suck. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, that was close. Ha ha, he didn't get me. Oh my god, that was close. Yay! I got the rings. Yes. I did it. Second try. Nice one. This blue drown... Uh, this blue dart was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espo used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might be just might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. 
My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal, fatal fall. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Ah shit, that's a good point. But Tails was onto something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espy didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Buckaroo and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? What's this one? Blueprints? Blood art? Broken orbit arm? Street map? Okay, we'll go broken this one. Okay, not that one. Uh, train map? No. Okay. Blueprints. Alright, now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Bart. Fuck it, think. Okay. Yay, got the ring box. Oh, shit. No. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. There we go. I think that was my first try there, was it? Yeah, I think it was. Alright, let's take a closer look. If Esme didn't take the secret passage to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor's car and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. The vent? Of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There is a path back here. And a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying... I saw my fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Esme's right, this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Okay, the broken robot arm. Now to think about my argument. <clears throat> okay, let's do this. Oh my god. At least it gives you like a million try retries of that stuff. Oh my god, I didn't press the space bar in time. Okay, let's see. We can do this in time, guys. Let's... Oh my god. Maybe not. Oh my god, how, how bad am I being right now? Oh, oh my god. How terrible am I at this? Oh my god, I suck. Wow. Wow. Okay, full focus here, guys. Oh no! Oh, I didn't even realize how many rings I got. I've actually beat it. Nice! Well, where is the conductor in all this? Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? 
I can see that. Those arms do look per powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails, but you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy. You received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where the hot scoop came from. <clears throat> Tails, you're, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? Uh, no, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said uh, Sonic's to get trapped of all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passengers' safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? what The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You have you want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Uh and now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's control to move Sonic from the conductor's car to the dry dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examine everyone's alibi, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only have been one person. It was you, SPO. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic. H hey guys, Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, SPO was the murderer, right? <clears throat> Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart though, really? It's non-lethal poison, you'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No wait, there's something Im important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. W what? No. When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about all the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it is more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me about that in the interview. Right. As we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from the SPO. Okay, so... Dr. Robotnik is behind I could I never would have guessed. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop, what are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of that at this poison. But another arm robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no! Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. No shit, Sherlock. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. 
Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is less of a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express. Staff. See? What is that? It says use this blow dart on... Okay, I just literally read that. I just read this. <clears throat> what is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. A signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Who or what? Buckaroo, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? The train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. First, we learned this train's a bad nick, and now it's out to get us. So it's literally like a murder on the Orient Express. I guess. But that was basically everyone done it, right? Oh, yeah. Once, oh, sorry, spoilers for a book. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train is it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train, come out and show yourself. Oh, you're literally inside the train. It's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Uh, here, I can, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is the train talking? Of course, I can talk you fools. We're too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic. Ha ha. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah. Whoa. No, no. I can't keep my footing. Ah. Okay, so I guess we're ended up in Eggman's base now. Hmm, a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Uh, uh, my head. Tails. Amy? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where is everyone else? A great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I'm doing amazing. Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. I, uh, might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Okay, let's just explore around here, little bit. Broken plates. Ah, what a mess in here. With the robot arms going rogue, I wonder who will pick, have to pick up all this. Look at all the salt that's spilled. No wonder you're having bad luck. Quick, pick some up and toss it over your shoulder. Oh, okay. A pinch of salt and there, over the shoulder. Perfect. I can already tell our luck is turning around. Yeah, I guess you're right. Why do I actually feel calmer? Okay. <clears throat> Hey, one of those robotic arms are here too. Yeah, oh, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. Okay, anything else here? Okay, windows are barred. Oh man. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train's sights couldn't be beat. I was excited. 
After all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. That'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. Okay, what's out the window? The yellow glow is chilling. I missed when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello, hello. Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I miss the yellow glow already. You got some nerves showing up here, egghead. Ho ho ho, you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. Uh, ignore that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess. Another death egg, Dr. Predictable. The people fear Giant's fears. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security systems, you pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Heavens no. I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy. Oops. Sorry guys. I accidentally clicked too far ahead. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill the Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than to deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous award. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever. But a highly intelligent train? It might ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When your dragon dagged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has the motivation and being made by Eggman that's no doubt powerful. Not to mention we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger and I went along with it? Sonic was really hurt. The conductor has been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? I should have done more. Am I at fault here? I couldn't keep anyone safe. Hey, I can tell the, situ the situation's getting to you. Oh yeah? Sorry, I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. Oh, that's some really snazzy cool music. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here helping me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. Ha, uh, okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward and make things right. Breathe, okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at the Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? <laughs> Believe in yourself. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves, what would Sonic do? So what would you do? What would I do? 
Well, I'd speed through head on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. Damn, he just burst through the door. Wow, with one big wind up, Sonic Spin Dash was fast enough to get the door open. Heh, <laughs> now that the road is clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Let's do it. That's a spurt. Let's go find our friends. To the conductor car to end this mystery. Okay. Am I gonna have like weird like Alright, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to burst through the next door too. Ready? Let's do this. Okay. Oh damn it. That wasn't good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, I suck. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm trying to get that box right over in the left there. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. God damn it! God, oh no! Oh, oh man! Okay. Oh my god! I forgot about that box again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! Oh my god, Sonic! I mean me. Oh my god. Oh, right, I'll get it this time, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I forgot about that goddamn... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm just gonna die here. Right, I'll get it this time, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <clears throat> right, I got it. I got this. You got this, sir. Uh... Um, <laughs> okay, I know what to do. Oh. I was trying to run over to the other spring to see if I could get that like one box there in the car, right? I can try it. Oh, yes, I got it. Will that be enough to get me through? Maybe. <clears throat> I got it, I think. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay, that's another door open. Okay. Yay, okay, I didn't realize. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Okay, so now, another round. Uh oh. Well, this one's not too bad. Oh. Yay, I burst through another door. That was easy. You all came for us, of course. But let's move. Trin wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train. Let's go. Okay. I'm imagining it's going to get progressively a lot tougher. Oh my god. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. That one was a lot tougher. There's a lot like less space to move around there. Very cramped. Oh no. Oh 
Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. I got it. Yes. Sonic! It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. Okay. Oh, wow. Sheer focus, guys. Sheer focus and determination right now. Oh, what? Oh, wow, I got a lot of coins. Our ring. This ain't Mario. They locked Amy and Tails in the truck conductor car. Say no more. Let's go. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, damn. Oh no! Oh wow, that was good. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! Hey, this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Okay. So we're gonna fight Robotnik now. Or Dr. Eggman. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land. And probably another deaf egg. Don't turn us into robots? Or don't tell... Okay. Ho oh, ho ho, haven't done that in a while. Maybe I'll turn you all into robots to give Sage some new toys to play with. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, Train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Grr, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Oh, no. Is that game over now? No. Can't really die in this, like, so. Oh, no. Oh damn. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could he just leave it like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. So he's trying to get like the conductor to be his friend forever. Okay. Want to turn the conductor into a robot or something? Oh wow, oh wow. Oh man. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Oh god damn it. Oh god damn it. Damn, this is like hard to get rings on this one. Oh my god. Oh, damn. Oh, man.
God damn it. Oh man. That was a hard one to get rings on. Looks like we're near the end of the train though. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, you know what? Let's restart that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh wow. That is... That is tough, man. Oh, got it, yes. Conductor, you promised me, you promised. Let him speak, on hand him. Train stopped us when I told you we'd be with each other forever. I was a much younger man. I'm getting old, I'm tired. Excuses, how dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely, so lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? No, stop, what are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Uh oh. Oh damn. Okay, we got this. I'm coming to save you, Conductor. I... Oh god. Oh wow, I was, that was lucky. I was not expecting to win that one. Wow, that was... Oh wait, so like that's like... Bang. Oh look, it's a little flicky. Flicky? This is just like the lore card when my ex-best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. Will Sonic go like supersonic at some point? Oh. Oh god damn it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me? Selfish? How, how dare you? Oh wow, that's a lot of rings I have to collect in this one. Oh my... Well, that was a failure. Okay. We got this. Oh my god. Wow, this is like everything's been thrown at me at once. Oh my god, wow, whoa, Jesus. Oh, wow, oh, wow. Holy hell. Oh, wow. Why did 
if I keep doing that. Holy Jeebus! Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh my god! Oh my- oh wow! I am- <clears throat> My frustration is- Going to kill- Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, I got it this time, guys. I definitely got it this time. Oh my god. Maybe. Oh my god, oh man. Oh wow. Oh my god. Right, this time. Definitely, this is this is this is my moment. This is my this is where I got focus. Come on. Oh wow. Focus. Yes. No, 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 no. I'll grab the flicky. Huh? It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Oh, wow, that's a mega hammer. It's like four. Sonic catches her. Isn't that so sweet? The train is slowing down. Great hit, huh, Amy? Haha, <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I... I just couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Well, that's just a big, great, happy ending, isn't it? So much for our David Bowie, Elton John looking train. Wow, we really messed it up. We did it. Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe is a unique way of doing things. Watch your step. Watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next day, birthday, we just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually going to miss the script's unhinged way of thinking. Conductor's wife. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. Ah, you'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. Fa ha ha ha. Fa ha ha ha. I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spigonia in the morning. Morning. And you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? Faha, an old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Seems that flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. 
It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Don't be, you were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously? A dart? It would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed aside. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool, and now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. Oh, don't worry, guys. I'll just go make something in the microwave. You know, that's my only job, apparently, on board the train. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic, wait. Where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery, and look what I bought. A birthday cake. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy. And her sparkling personacity. <laughs> personacity. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if personacity is a word. I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, I'm going to haphazard a guess. It's not a, it's not a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, uh, you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train. But, but... I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please. Dig in, everyone. Yay! I hope it's chocolate. It doesn't look chocolate. It's kind of pink, right? And... Is that the end of the game? I was wondering what was going to happen. <laughs> Let's go, Dad. T-shirts on us. <laughs> wow. That train's never making it here, is it? Orbot. Prepare a bath. The happy rubber duck or the angry, <laughs> angry one? <laughs> angry. Sour a choice, your evilness. Shut it. Anyone ever see the cartoon of Sonic the Hedgehog? And they used to have like Grinder and what was his name? Screw and Grinder? No, I can't remember. Scratch and Grinder, Scratch and Grinder. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends, entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. Cities realized that Green was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I stuck with the gig, and then one million in the lottery. Yeah, sure, one million. And after all that, I managed to fly to space. Yeah, that's just been my life. Exciting life, all right. And guys, that was the. I guess that's the end of the murder of Sonic. We all lived uh, happily ever after in the end. I managed to win millions in the lottery and got the space. I'm basically like, you know, Walmart Elon Musk right now, I, I, I assume. You know? He does have something to do with trains, doesn't he? He's maybe? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I will be back more for... I'll be back more for uh, more playthroughs very, very shortly. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to hit a like, comment, and subscribe. This was pretty fun, and I hope you guys had fun watching me play this game as well. And sorry for all the a million die times I died in the little mini games. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And don't, don't forget to hit uh, subscribe there. And uh, if you want me to see me play anything in particular, don't just head up a comment. I'll I'll respond. I'll I I tend to read all my comments. Anyway, I'll leave the com the credits running. Thanks for watching, guys.